What were some key takeaways from the first episode of the Carolina Panthers Confidential video? Well, there was plenty of anticipation this past Thursday on the air as the Carolina Panthers released the long-awaited Panthers Confidential video. And it was behind the scenes at look at what transpired throughout this offseason for the organization, and it did not disappoint. Got a lot of notes here, guys. Going to go over some key takeaways. Going to minimize these notes into this one video. So, you're watching Pantherology. What is going on, guys? Back at it again with yet another video. So, let me introduce myself. I, I'm changing it up here with this introduction. My name's Clay Rop, and I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Been a Panthers fan since I last could remember. Um, so decided to start making a YouTube channel about a year ago. And now I'm over a thousand subscribers. Thanks to y'all. You're a blessing. So guys, keep helping me out. I need you to like the video. The more you like the videos, the more the algorithm goes out, the more people will come and watch the videos. So I, I would really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel definitely helps me out. The more subscribers I get, the more views I get, the more likes I get. You know what I mean? So that helps me out as well. Comment down below. I like to hear your takes. I like to hear what, what you want to hear. I like to hear what you think about the video. I like to hear what you think about the topic, my opinion, anything like that. So comment. And then click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. That helps the likes, the views, and the subscribes. All right. And also, guys, some updates coming out for you. I'm working on some merch, working on a new camera, working on getting a new mic working on getting uh, a new logo possibly but also i'm changing my animation character so be on the lookout for that and also look out for a new introduction all right a new intro intro video so that will be coming out and look out for some new uh stuff i'll be adding into the videos and i hope you'll enjoy that and i hope it'll spice things up to make y'all continue to watch my channel all right so let's go ahead and continue this we're going to be talking about my key takeaways here now, the Panthers' confidential video is top-notch. Obviously, it's to be expected with the Panthers' content team. But most importantly, it gave us as fans a tremendous amount of exactly what went down during free agency, the 2021 NFL Draft, and then the days that followed. All right? Now, if you haven't watched it and you're watching this video, go watch that first before watching this, okay? Now, it's hard for me to look at the Carolinas' roster and think that this team is not in better shape than they were in 2020 and they are this team is in way better shape they the those people in power put everything out there to improve their options in every phase of football and hopefully this can translate into winning more games and gets the panthers back into playoff contention as early as possible so with that being said let's get into my key takeaways and let's start with my first one and my first one that I took away from my five pages of notes that I wrote down was everyone was on the same wavelength. Uh, it was definitely refreshing to see what emerged from this video and how well Matt Rule and Scott Fitter worked together as a team for the same goal. Um, it came across throughout the whole video uh, from the footage they've shown within the dra draft war room. So this is only going to mean good things for Carolina. So having two guys in positions of power and they're going the same direction is every cornerstone of a successful franchise. And that is something that's been sorely missed from the Panthers under previous regimes. Uh, their communication was great. They have great chemistry and mentality. Couple Now, they coupled with some useful input from the scouts and team owner David Tepper, something that was so pleasing to see. So whether this is going to come within an immediate turnaround and, and fortunes on the field is another matter. But fans can rest safe in knowing that the right people are in place to get this organization back to the playoffs. Now, obviously, 
when we watched this, J.C. Horn was by far the guy besides Sewell, I felt like. I felt like they were going to go with Sewell, but he knew that the Lions were going to take him. So, obviously, it didn't take long for them to find out that J.C. Horn was always going to be their priority, priority number one for the Panthers. Now, if Sewell had been around, we might have a different story here. But that, But the South Carolina corner was obviously – the front guy in, in their minds. And that was definitely reflected in this video. And the plan was clear to go with Horn or accept a huge offer from elsewhere uh, to move down. But that didn't, that didn't end well because the Minnesota Vikings not offering next year's first round selection to move up and leaving Carolina happy, they secured their top rated corner. And someone who got the green light from all of the front office personnel and coaching staff. I mean, all along, Horn knew he was on the Panthers' radar. And even though you watch and he was sitting there all nervous, he obviously knew he was going there. All right, so next one was, you, it's hard for you not to love Scott Fitter. Um, it, the video also gave fans the chance to find out a little bit more about Scott Fitter. Obviously, he came from the Seattle Seahawks with a big reputation. Uh, and judging by his efforts so far, it's clear that the Carolina Panthers made the right hire, obviously, to replace M Marty Herney. It wasn't just the draft movement, which was obviously tremendous, that stood out during the program, though. Fitterer clearly values the opinion of his scouts, uh, his coaching staff, and obviously owner David Tepper, who were all heavily involved in this whole process. Fitter seems to treat every staff member alongside him as the same. He has been keen to praise others rather than take credit for everything and came into the organization with a drive and a purpose that instantly won over the majority of the team's loyal support. Now, as I stated previously, this was so refreshing to see. And Tepper obviously must be very delighted by the impact a fitter has made in a short time span. Viewers also got to see the fitter with his family, which was a nice personal touch, to which this video was 34 minutes long. This is the only start for Fitter who will know more than most that there is much more work to be done to get the Panthers where he wants them to be. Now, this start to a life as the primary decision maker obviously couldn't have gone any better. The next takeaway I took from this video is Carolina wanted to do right by Teddy. Now, Teddy Bridgewater gamble obviously didn't pay off and the Panthers obviously admitted that and when they acquired Sam Darnold that left this whole predicament regarding the former Louisville star who was a surplus requirements but still owned a significant amount of money on his three-year deal which was 63 million dollars with a 15 million dollar signing bonus and a 33 million dollar guarantee now even though things didn't go according as planned, it was evident in this video that the team still wanted to do right by Teddy B. So guys, those are my key takeaways from this video. Uh, if you haven't watched it and you watch this, go watch it. It's, it's a very interesting video. I have like five pages of notes here and, that, and I've narrowed it down to make this video for y'all. So like I said, like the channel. The more you like, the more the algorithm goes out, the more views I get. That helps the channel out tremendously. More uh, Also, that will help with the subscribers. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Like I said, I'd like to hear what y'all's thoughts are. Go watch. Like I said, go watch this video. It's very interesting. Uh, and then click that post notifications bell, guys, so you don't miss out on any new, new videos. And, you know, Panther Nation, Pantherologists, new things to come, a lot of good stuff. You, but you all know what to do. Keep pounding. <laughs>